So you want to start using OpenSend and you want to integrate OpenSend into your Klaviyo account. So straight off the bat, ensure that you have the Shopify app enabled in the OpenSend pixel on your website. I'm going to assume you already have that done. And then we're going to go through the steps of creating a private API key to sync OpenSend into your Klaviyo account. And then I'm going to show you what flows you want to create and the filters you want to create to ensure that OpenSend is sending you the correct emails. Let's get into it. So what you're going to do is you're going to click add destination, click here. You're going to select Klaviyo. You're going to select the name for the Klaviyo. I mean, obviously, you know, it's Klaviyo. So you're just going to hit next and you're going to hit setup and you're going to create an API key within Klaviyo. So you go to Klaviyo, you're going to click here. You're going to click settings and you're going to go ahead and jump into API keys. You're going to click create API key. You're going to create a custom key and you're going to call it open send. And you're going to give full access to the following uh, metrics. So if you go back into here, it says list profiles, metrics, events, templates. So full access to list and profiles. So we go list, control F, full access. Then we go profiles, full access. I'm going to go back here and we're going to say, okay, it needs read access permission to metrics, events, and templates. Metrics, so we give it read access, metrics, events, and we can't find templates, so we go templates. Cool, there we go. Then we go ahead and hit create private API key. We hit it create up here. Then you're going to copy the key that it gives you. You're going to hit copy right there. And then you're going to copy and paste this key into OpenSend. Then you're going to go here where it says API key and you're going to copy and paste it straight in there like this. Then you're going to click validate. Okay. So it doesn't have the required permissions. So we've done something wrong. So we need to go back a step. So I've just gone ahead and pasted a new key here. So now we're just going to see where this takes us. While that's validating, we then need to create a list in Klaviyo that's going to push these profiles into your Klaviyo account. So we go back into Klaviyo. We go to our list and segments and we hit create new. Create list. We're going to call this, I call it IB because it's the name of my agency. IB dash dash open send. Because that's where... We're going to point people to cool. So now we have the list and now we go back into open send here and we select the list. We might have to click reload really quickly. I've reloaded the page. So now we're going to go add destination Clavio go through this whole tedious process again. Cool. We've select successfully done that. So now we go here and we find our list list. Let's find it. Open send. There it is. Boom. No need to do that. Select fields. Uh, set a tag. Yep. So we're going to, yeah, tag name. That's cool. Um, this is, I don't really use this little field here. So we just go there and we go next. Cool. So now that we can see all of our sources are connected. Yep. Cool. That's there. And then we hit create destination and there we go. It's enabled. Fantastic. We have a little bit of an error, error there. Um, all we have to do is drag this there. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and click publish. There we go. Boom. It's done. That's the integration. Now, OpenSend is going to start sending traffic to our Klaviyo account. So we need to make sure that that traffic is uh, actually being spoken to in separate sequences to our regular automations. And I'll show you why in a second. So let's go back into our Klaviyo account right here. And now we're going to go flows. And we're going to clone our abandonment flows and our welcome series. Okay. Really important. So let's find our welcome series. Here it is. We're going to hit clone welcome series, open send I'm clone that. Okay. Cause now people who get added to our welcome series will rather get added to our open send list should go through our welcome series, right? So we're going to call this open send. So we know that it's an open send specific welcome series. Then we go to here, open send, because that's the list and we hit clone flow. And then we're going to set up some conditions here to ensure that people aren't getting spoken to twice. 
Here we go. There's our flow. Cool. So now we have our flow. We go here. Open send. Placed order zero times since starting this flow. We're going to go ahead and delete this little condition here. And if someone is in the open send list and just like that, that means they have to be in the open send list to go through this flow. Obviously they will be because it's triggered the flow. However, we also want to say what somebody has or has not done flow or rather, sorry, ignore that. Um, you're going to go here and you're going to say properties about somebody received or sorry, here we go. I'm, I'm getting all over the place. Received email where flow equals welcome series zero times overall time. So what that does is it ensures that the people who are in this flow going through this welcome series have not received messaging from our other welcome series flow because there's a chance that OpenSend will find existing subscribers, put them in this list, and we don't want them going through the welcome series again if they've already been through it previously. I hope that makes sense, but you have to do this filter here. What somebody has or has not done, received email, flow, your, the name of your welcome series, zero times overall time. Then you hit save, and you're gonna go ahead and hit review and turn on. Now we're gonna turn the flow on. We go review and turn on. We go turn on, and we also want to make sure that this list here is single opt-in. Very important. We go settings, consent, single opt-in, save. So now they get added to that list and they'll go through our welcome series flow. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for our abandonment flows. So let's do that together. We go here, close, we go abandon, find our abandoned cart so we have look at this we only have the abandoned checkout and the browse abandoned so we go here actually we hit this we hit clone we call this sure whatever and we call this open send okay we hit clone flow so that's our abandoned checkout and now we're gonna do it for the browse abandoned now if you have like a bunch of abandonment flows you need to do this for every single one Okay, browse abandoned, sure, clone, call this open send. Yep, clone flow, feed product. And now here's where things get really important. We have our open send flows. Cool, open send here, open send here. Then we're gonna take our existing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and close these tabs. These are our open send flows. We need to add the following condition, edit. And if someone is in the open send list. These are the only people we want to get the open send abandoned cart. So they have to be in the open send list. You hit save. You do it again here for the viewed product. And if is open send, they have to be in that list. Save. Cool. So now only people who are in the open send list are going to get these emails. Um, and then we turn them on. We go review and turn on review and turn on. But we also need to make sure that people aren't getting the open send abandoned carts and the regular abandoned cart emails. So then we go to our live flows. So rather our abandoned checkout and our browse abandoned, go to the live ones, click here, we click edit, we click edit and we say, and if someone is not in open send list, and if someone is not in the open send list. Cool. So now our flows are talking to people separately. Awesome. Now we have our abandoned cart flows set up. We have our open send emails going through the welcome series and we're good. This account is running now. Fantastic. Now really quickly, when I go back into here, we click overview. You're gonna see stats coming into here saying like resolved identities and all that good stuff. Really important from an attribution perspective, I like to take Klaviyo's revenue generated as the source of truth as opposed to OpenSense. And I'm gonna tell you why. This here is a client's account and we are seeing resolved identities, 965, cool. And we're seeing placed order value of $845. But these came through before any emails 
had been sent, okay? Meaning, OpenSend was attributing sales that Clavio was already taking care of anyway, meaning these guys are saying they've generated this amount of revenue, when in reality that hasn't actually happened. Attribution's always a pain in the ass, it always is. But to make sure that you're getting a pretty accurate read of, as to how effective OpenSend actually is, I don't recommend looking at this interface in terms of placed order value. I recommend instead at looking at the flow revenue generated within Klaviyo. How do we do that? You simply need to go into your dashboard just like this and simply take a look at the abandoned checkout revenue in the last, see, what are we doing here, seven days? Sick, $424. That's a better indication of revenue generated as opposed to um, OpenSense metrics. Cool, guys, I hope you found that useful. If you want a hand setting this up, let me know. I run an email and SMS marketing agency. Uh, I also have a newsletter, which will be in the footer section of this video. I promise you the advice that I give on that newsletter is actually valuable. I've read a lot of email marketers newsletters and they suck. Mine is good. Subscribe, let me know what you think. And if you found this video useful, subscribe to the channel as well. Bunch of cool stuff. I do a bunch of cool videos on this kind of stuff. Thanks for watching.